The actual weight is 7.84. Uh, 7 yeah. 7.84 newtons. And then the buoyant force, which we hadn't calculated yet, now we want to know that. The difference of the two was 5.46 newtons. Now I'm going to calculate FB. FB is going to be 7.84 minus 5.46. You get 2.38. So the buoyant force is 2.38 newtons. And therefore, the new reading on the scale of the glass plus the water plus if you put an object there, whether you're holding it by a string or not, the new reading is going to be uh, 202.38. So as the thing is falling, let's say you're not holding it with a string. As the thing is falling, you see you will see a reading of 202.38 as, as the rock is falling. What happens? What happens when the thing finally rests on the surface? Does the reading change? Okay? Maybe momentarily it kind of takes a little bump because of the force. Does the reading change? Well, now what do you have? You have a normal force, okay? And you have a buoyant force, and you have the mg. So the buoyant force plus the normal force is equal to mg. So now the surface pushes up, in other words, the, uh, the scale pushes up on the glass, the glass pushes up on the object. So now it has FB plus N must equal MG, right? So now what's going to happen? Well, the, so the water is pushing, pushing the object up with a buoyant force, okay? The surface is also pushing it up with a normal force. The normal force is going to equal the same as was its apparent weight, right? The object, therefore, is going to push the scale down and the water down, everything down, by the sum of the two. It's, it's reaction force, so Fb and N. So the water, if the, if the surface pushes up on the water with N, the water pushes down on the surface with N. And if the water pushes up on the object, the object pushes down on the water with Fb. So therefore, the sum of the two, Fb and N, is equal to the mg. Okay? So that should equal to the weight, 7.84. Okay? So therefore, the new reading should, be, should go up to 207.84. because now the object is actually resting on the bottom of the surface, okay? So as you can see, uh, once it start, once if, as it's falling, it's reading less, but once it rests on the uh, uh, scale, once it rests at the bottom of the beaker, or bottom of the surface, then basically the effect of the buoyancy of the water is negated by the, the normal force. The normal force provided by the surface plus the buoyant force is 7.48, and the object pushes down with the total of that of those two forces, and you have uh, the new reading is going to be 207.84. So actually, this is a lab that we do. One of the labs we do, we have a cylinder that we place in water, and we kind of hold it with attention. We see how much the scale on the reading goes up. From that, we can know the buoyant force. From that, we can know the density of the object. But when we do the lab, I tell the class don't have the cylinder touching the bottom of the surface because then you have the normal force that's going to push up and uh, therefore the object's going to push down more. So it can't be touching the bottom of the surface. So it's got to be in the center. Okay.